Domino's Pizza is down 28% from its highs in 2021. And over the years, this stock have been a great compounder. Now, the analysts believe that there's a 16.2% upside to the stock. Simply Wall Street believes that this stock is about 45% overvalued though. But what does the numbers tell us? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the financials and then see if there's a buying opportunity within Domino's Pizza or not. So looking at the stock overview first, the stock ticker is T, the stock ticker is DPZ. Now the enterprise value is 19.9 billion. The current market cap is 14.3 billion. So what does this mean? Well, it tells you that the company has quite a lot of debt on its balance sheet. And that is why the enterprise value is more than the market cap because the enterprise value takes the market cap then it adds the debt on top of that and it subtracts the cash in this case as you can see it's a lot more than the market cap now the net equity is actually in the negative sitting at negative 4.2 billion at the moment so usually that is a big big red flag however with Domino's Pizza I did look a little bit deeper and if you look at the Altman Z score which shows you how far a company is from bankruptcy it's trading in that gray zone so it's not in a warning zone yet however it's still a bit of a red flag and it's something you will need to look in a little bit deeper as well and understand better as well so the current share price is 403 dollars the price to sales 3.3 the price to book of course is zero because the equity is in the negative the total shares held by the insiders 0.69 percent the total shares held by the institutions 95.27 percent and the short interest is 6.1 percent so now i want to show you the year-on-year -year data because this was quite remarkable as you can see basically everything in the green this means that numbers have been improving year on year everything except of course for the liabilities so the liabilities have been going up but as you can see they've also been buying back stock over the last three years so that is looking really good right so now i want to take you over to my fundamental checklist and we're going to see how they are performing in terms of the fundamentals the momentum the debt and the growth first we start off with a fundamental question so we look at the pe ratio and what we are looking at here is is it between 1 and 25 in this case it's sitting at 29.25 the net margin is looking really good for a pizza company 11.7 percent but as you know a lot of people will tell you Domino's is not really a pizza company it's also a technology company so the net equity is in the negative of course the dividend cost is less than the free cash flow and shareholders have also not been diluted in the last three years in fact they have been rewarded by dominoes by dominoes buying back its own shares over the last three years which benefits the current shareholders of course so now looking at the debt questions and i've looked at the debt to equity ratio first but of course the equity is in the negative so this is going to be zero then i look at the current ratio and what i want to see here is is the current ratio greater than one because this tells me if they have got more current assets than current liabilities so in this case it's sitting at 1.46 the free cash flow to debt is actually sitting at 10.35 percent so this is actually pretty surprising because it shows that the free cash flow can actually handle the debt repayments so then looking at the momentum questions what we want to see here is year on year momentum now as you saw from the year on year data this company has got a lot of momentum behind them so everything from the top line to the bottom line have been growing year on year so then looking at the growth questions of course the equity is in the negative so the return on equity is not greater than 10 percent then the return on assets is greater than 10 percent it's sitting at 30.12 percent then i look at the return on invested capital and what i want to see here is how the management is investing the capital for the company in this case this is actually absolutely phenomenal it's sitting at 83 percent now this also makes sense why this company has so much debt on its balance sheet it's obviously making use of the low interest rates because return on invested capital is sitting at 83 percent so the management is actually doing really good capital allocation in terms of this so now let's go check out how they scored in terms of this checklist so on the fundamentals they scored 60 percent on the debt management 67 percent on the momentum 100 percent and on the growth 50 percent so looking at this you can see dominoes is definitely a company you need to look in a little bit deeper the fundamentals really looks very good when it comes to dominoes basically the only red flag is that equity we need to look into a little bit more but now let's head over to the valuation models and i did two valuation models a company one on the free cash flow and then one on the earnings per share so looking at the free cash flow model first the price to free cash flow is 25.56 so the stock is definitely not cheap at the moment the cash they've got on their balance sheet is 148 million then i took three different scenarios a low a median and a high and that gives you an average fair value today of 386 dollars now looking at the earnings per share model so i used a discount rate of 10 percent and then once again i used three different scenarios a bear a median and a bull case and then i also used a fair target pe ratio of 25 
55 and that's basically what dominoes have been trading at an average in the last five years this gives you a fair value today of 330 dollars so now let's go check out the risk factors quickly before we head over to the verdict so looking at the risk factors number one is of course competition they do have competition in this space also if they report any kind of growth slowdown then it will affect the stock also inflation is another threat that they actually highlight on the annual report and of course cyber attacks being another risk for the company which now takes us over to the verdict and what I think about Domino's. So currently the price is $403. My intrinsic value, what I would be willing to pay for Domino's is sitting at $350. This is a percentage difference of negative 15.37%. So at the moment, I'm pretty much neutral on Domino's. This is a great company. It's definitely a company I'm going to look into a little bit deeper. They are definitely going on my watch list. And if it gets close to my intrinsic value, then I will definitely look at getting in. Now, if you like this video, please remember to click on that red subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever we do more videos like this. I will also leave a link in the video below where you can download this spreadsheet and we can go through it in your own time. Finally, if you want to see stocks that we feel are undervalued at the moment, simply click on the link coming up in this video right now.